come with us. It'll be good. Uh. Engine heights are great, aren't they? Yeah, just leveled it up and just a quick level because um, it's going to come apart again and it's going to be like a, I'm going to restore it guys yeah so just drop the four bolts in to tie in the the um, carriage or the ways or well the carriage I suppose like I say, I just give it. It's just uh, it's just this 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 nut is really awkward where it is. Uh, I might have to take it off again. Okay, so I'm just. Popped in, I think, a three or four, four of the balls, yeah. Um, and I gave the bed a, a quick level. It's just a quick level at the minute because I'm going to be. Uh, I'll probably take it all apart and clean it and paint it and restore it. You know, might do that on a Wednesdays or if I, you know, we'll see how it all goes. But yeah. It would be nice to restore it and you know have it all really i'd have to get some bits for it obviously this is broke here and this is broke here and they have been so yeah it's had a fall so i would imagine you know something i don't know it's in its past life yeah so uh, i'll try and get these two yeah um i think the rest of it is okay but I'll just see how it goes yeah um, it's a very small little job that I have for it at the minute but I, but it's essential you know like I said at the beginning of the video it gets the grass collected I'm gonna make a shaft I'll show you now in a second I don't know if I've shown you or not guys my head is a bit yeah my head is kind of all over the shop at the minute I'll show you that shaft um, I came across it and I thought, right, I'll show you what was going on, what, what happened. Um, so here, right, is the shaft that's on the back of the Kubota. And as you can see, right, you can see that about five or six mil in, right? You can see that line. Okay. And it just sheared off. Now it's not treaded or anything. This piece that comes out here about eight mil, but it gets welded. There's a plate. It goes onto a plate and it gets welded around the back. Yeah, on the outside of the plate, and that's all it is. You know, um, it's thirty mil. Yeah, three quarters of an inch. Um, I forget what the dimension is there across. But anyway, look. This is what I was at just prior to getting the um, the lathe. I had this bit of um, 
round stock yeah and I measured up exactly what I need what it needs to be from the end here right and that's exactly where it needs to be so it's exactly the same length I have a hole to drill here later on and then I cut with the cutting disc all round scribed it blue inked it scribed it and cut with the and then of course what you'd have to do is you'd have to put your finger grinder on there and twist this you know maybe stick it in the chuck of the drill or whatever and and take it down gradually or cut slices in here you know and and round it all off as best you could right and it, it, it would have done you know but see that <laughs> right so now we can just machine that back to exactly what we need whatever that is there yeah and it, it's just yeah it came along just at the right time and um, it's handy obviously a lathe is a handy piece of you know it's only when you need to do something like that or yeah and if you don't have it yeah the machine shop can be an expensive place to be <laughs> you don't want to be there for too long I'll tell you so now we're just getting the four bolts in here and look uh, fit the motor etc the motor has been taken off yeah you saw that so we'll put the motor back on it and now that the four bolts are on here anyway it's that little bit safer yeah before it releases yeah safety in mind guys <laughs> I say safety in numbers okay I'll bring you back in a, a little while yeah and uh, see what we're at Like I said, guys, the only thing I have energy for is a little bit of br brushing and cleaning, and but it's all paying off, yeah. Um, I have the four bolts in at the bottom. I'm just giving it a bit of a wire brush, yeah. And um, I think I can take this off now, yeah. Um, I don't know what it is about cleaning stuff up but you know what there's a, there's a great sense of um, satisfaction when you see stuff coming up clean um, it's just I don't know it's easy removal yeah and it's lovely to see you know all the markings coming back up um, incidentally guys I um, I've sprayed a, a multifunction oil protects against rust and cor corrosion right and uh, I'm just giving it a little places just let this go through it you know I'll let it go down through it after I've um, cleaned off some of the stuff right but what I was going to say to you is yeah I think I remember saying to you earlier on right that um, that the number from my research on these Manufacturing year can be found at the end here if you take the tail stock off, which of course we have, that's on the bench. But if you get down here, we have, um, I don't know if you're going to see it or not. Um, this, that that, that um, crane is, is, is blocking out the light, believe it or not, guys. But anyway. Okay. We have our number right there at the end, okay? You gotta trust me on it, yeah? Uh, can you see it? 
it's right here beside these two um, grub screws or allen allen bolts allen head bolts just here to the left of it right and that's where we are look at the end of the carriage or ways yeah so it's right here and it's 11856 CSB 11856 so if anybody knows what year um, Boxford you're gonna have to trust me on this guys there's some beautiful patina on here <laughs> it's a box for dear um, and like I say you know just yeah this little oil is, is really getting into it you know and um, you can see maybe you can maybe you can't but like all the um, all the markings are starting to come through on it yeah your measurements so degrees yeah well, I'll just keep going I keep cleaning guys yeah and um, bring you back in a while yeah and we'll see it when at next stage will be like when I'm kind of done for the night I think yeah it's um, getting late now but I'll try and get this out to you tomorrow evening yeah maybe or maybe Monday night yeah and see how I get on tomorrow and how I feel and today was a good day it was productive as in I managed to steal this out of the car yeah by myself and um, no one got hurt or injured and that's the most important thing and right now is just biding my time until you know until I know more but um, yeah we'll just take it take it as it comes um, I think I'll leave the bus reveal maybe until the next one now because I'm still not done here yeah and uh, getting on for 11 o'clock I think so guys yeah I'll bring you back in a while right not looking too bad eh not looking too shabby okay guys in this bucket okay we've got a toothbrush yeah very dotty toothbrush now it's the garage toothbrush we've got this little agitating brush yeah and we've also got this even smaller little brush okay and you saw me scrubbing with the wire brush and what else well i'll just show you what else yeah so i'm going to put that down there for now right and i'll get you in a little closer guys and we'll have a look now and see where we're at um just before we get in there look this will be our project okay remember so that's what we that's what we bought the lid for <laughs> okay just to show you look um you can see that that's the kind of that hasn't been cleaned obviously yeah so but this has right so that's what we're looking at i'm not restoring it at the moment but look i can't help myself okay i just kept cleaning you saw the chuck key yeah and now it's nice and clean yeah so with that guys here's what it's looking like we have the lathe cleaned yeah now it's of a fairly good standard now that's that number in there and um, just to show you that we've got it level on that plane and we've also got it level on that plane yeah so happy enough with it 
and you can see the finish yeah and everything is working like it should okay and it's got a nice little coating of oil on it yeah that's come coming through so I think we can work with this yeah smooth on the ways um, it locks up uh, so we have our level and I'm happy enough with that and you can see now yeah the kind of cleanliness what we've got on it and the little markers yeah um, so we can take that off now and stick it there take this level off and um, yeah so I was doing a little research and I still haven't pinpointed the actual year but I think from 60, 66 65 or 66 yeah um, I've got my little piece in there yeah and it's running through that little silver ring there okay um, so I'm very happy with this little lid yeah um, so now my first project will be making this pin like I said yeah this is for the collector for the grass the Kubota and it broke or shield really that's not broke it's shield right so I'm going to replicate that that's my first little project yeah and like I said if you were to go to a machine shop and if I wanted to get this piece made right um, yeah you don't want to spend too long there um, so yeah it came up really nice really happy with it um, for those laid buffs you know just that little there that's what we got it's the boxford yeah um comes with the little cabinet and inside you have your toolings and i'll start putting stuff into it now anything to do with drilling and milling that will be the section where we'll be for drilling and milling um i did say that um i'm going to be making the shrink of stretcher pneumatic and there are some little dowels and things that i want to make for that i've it in my head i've designed it and you know so this will help along with that project yeah um so yeah I, i'm really chuffed with this and you can see you know it's had a fairly good clean A nice little tool post, yeah. Okay guys, we go for our first little project, yeah? Turn it on.
Better get a measure on that, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, that looks like we're in business guys, yeah? Um, so this is, I'll get that back out of the way. Should be right for here, or nearly right for here. Yeah, now there's balls. I've measured this, but there's, there's balls on it and I was trying to break it with the hammer, so there's a little bit of squash going on, but there you go. Yeah, it'll have to be cleaned up. This needs filing now, just to, you know. Yeah, there's balls on it. Like I said, it's damaged on the edges. Yeah, when I was hitting it with the ball peen. Yeah, and I had to grind it out. It was heavily welded. Um, so yeah, this piece goes on the back of the Kubota. And uh, it's a, like a tensioner for the belts. So, oh. let me get the longer one. Too tight, really. I have to move the camera, I think. Oh, you guys. I haven't done this since I was at college, guys. And um, the tutor there was a Mr. Heffernan. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah. Great days. Loved metal work, always have done. Yeah. So now this piece goes into that piece. Yeah. Um, from the other side, no, yeah, from this side, yeah. So, I'll just file out the balls, yeah. Could actually be a little tighter, but yeah, I've got the I got the reading. I should have cleaned out the balls first, yeah, on this plate. You know, this has been whacked with the hammer trying to break it open, but um, that's exactly you know, that's see, it's tight, but when I get the balls. Once and then again, once it goes up to the shoulder, it'll be square. Yeah. This is the side that gets welded, and this is, this is flush. So once it goes up to that, it's going to be square anyway, and I'll square it and weld it. Okay. Um, delighted, guys. Um, that's you know you see it there, and it's like I say for the oncoming projects as well yeah it'll be handy to have it it's sort of stamped up you know when you take it apart there's little stamps here I'll show you little markings yeah I don't know if you can make them out or not now you see you get like three little dots here two and one and then the same here two on the outside and one and those two dots line up yeah I noticed the same down here guys it's got little uh, little dots yeah yeah maybe you can't make that up but yeah we've got you got one there for your for your center yeah and then 40 30 20 10 0 yeah your degrees you got little dots it's like little punch mark on every one of the lines yeah Delighted with it, yeah? Absolutely thrilled. So, I hope that wasn't too shaky, guys. This is my first trial run with this one. And I hooked up my little um, my little bracket here, yeah? And that's how I done it. I put it like a bolt in here. Into the chuck. Tightened up my chuck. Right? For any of you guys that are shooting video. And then, of course, you can, you know, you can, um, you can take it forwards. <laughs> See what I mean? 
you can get closer to the action etc so that's it guys um i did i didn't want to connect the the feed you know um i'm not that competent just yet and uh, as regards oh headstock speed right you have this little lever here which marries up with this guy here a and b and you got your speeds so a yeah so that's this is the a this is the a here yeah and anything with a right so we we, we were in b one way i think we just started in b yeah so i think we were running there at around um 650 yeah um so yeah could be quicker but you know that's that one guys so just because it's been sitting really there's not a lot of the thickness coming off okay so um i'm gonna wire brush these guys um but even before wire brushing right I'll introduce you to another little tool that I have that really makes light work of this kind of stuff. Uh, it's a great little help. Uh, you can see that. Um, yeah, so, like I said, it's been stood up for about seven years, yeah? And, uh, It all needs to be cleaned, yeah, basically, the usual. <laughs> but it's been dry, yeah, 